This video is to show you how to change the coolant. This is a 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium Echo Boost 2.0. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna bend the expansion tank and we're gonna remove the cap slowly. The car is a little bit warm, so just gotta be a little bit careful. Do it slow. You can hear the air. <clears throat> there it is. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this hose. So you want to grab some pliers. Put it here. Slide this back. Be careful with it. You can also grab the pliers there. Carefully, not too tight, slide it back and forth till you slide it back. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> Next, we're going to grab our extension hose that I grabbed this from Home Depot. We're going to connect it here and put it in here, connect it. And I'm going to use this one to make sure it's tight. But if you guys don't have this, you guys can use a zip tie or anything else that will work. So we have our expansion hose secure. We put a funnel in the tank. And the hose is going down to the bucket, 5 gallon bucket where it's going to go. We have our distilled water ready to go and our coolant. So now we're going to warm up the car. And we're going to turn our heater to the max as well. The coolant is coming out slowly, it's pouring into the bucket, and the tank is starting to get a little bit low. But the way to make it speed up is to ramp it up a little bit. So you go inside your car, just step on the gas. As you see, the coolant getting low. Add some distilled water. Do not let it get completely empty. Never let it get all the way empty. Always maintain your water or food. Until you see the water coming out of the hose clear white, then you can start adding the coolant. After two gallons and a half of this still water, the water you can see coming out, it's a little bit more clear. It's a little bit hard to see because the coolant on this one was pink. But you can see it's already coming out more white. Bucket, it's already a half waist full. So now that it's getting, the reservoir is getting low, we're going to start adding our coolant. Okay, 
Okay, I already put a lot of cooling in there. I can already see the yellow starting to come out. So now we're gonna turn off the car. So now that the car is off, we're gonna make sure we fill up our coolant reservoir all the way to the max line. Tastes good. So we take off our funnel, put a cap back on. And then we reconnect our hose after we remove our expansion hose. So we slide it all the way to the back. And we put our clamp back on. Everything's back together now. And now for the next few days, every day in the morning, check your reservoir because most likely it's gonna get a little bit low every day. And you're gonna have to keep topping it off after after you notice that you don't have to top it off no more. And that's it, we're done.